How about that jingle to bring us in? Mm. Falcons Flight 13. We've arrived. Back nine, final round. Last nine. Driven by Innova. Coverage presented by Limber Disc Golf. Thank you so much for the support. Chunky Buckets. Chunky it's, Buckets. It's been a debut. It's been uh, it's been great doing this with you. Park Pro Production. Nine more holes at the beautiful Aspen Meadows East. Tied Rudy for the top-rated course in Alberta. Rudy what Faulkner, do you think? Tied baby. with the west side or what? 6,400 yeah. feet. Not That's a lot it. of length. No. No. Tight, though. Super tight. Yeah. Lots of OB. Hopping onto the back nine. Lead card. Hey, here's our scorecard for this lead card after nine. You at 14, Miguel at seven under, Connell minus five. Yeah. yeah. Riley plus three on the front nine. And yeah, it yeah. all came at the end. Just those last two holes. Yeah. yeah. So I guess, you know, Riley obviously going to be looking to get back in the mix, chase down, you know, that top five or three. I would say Miguel looking now. to hang on to Only second at this point. Uh, there's a crowd coming for Miguel for a second. Yep. Yep. So, man, he had a three bogeys in a row there. Yeah. Yeah, he was right with me there, and then he got the three bogeys and kind of took okay. off. Hole 10, par three, 332. This is a dead straight shot. That's, That's you and the fly over there running away. Is that it? it? That I'm was you in the orange I shirt. Be, I don't want to be in the shot. Yeah. So just past this tree, right where the drone's flying, little backhand turnover or a forehand on the back side of that tree and just have it nestle here. Really tight green. You can have some really obstructed putts. So you're here. Yeah, anything you can throw straight really here, right? I think you yeah. just got to get, get it going yeah. slightly downhill. And this is good height. Looks two turns. really good. Yeah, just clip something up. Yeah, Clip just a tiny early. bit too much turn. Yeah. Connell, is this a mid? I think it's yeah. the truth, I believe. Yeah, I wonder if he's going left of the tree. Ooh, Ooh. pulled that one over. Yeah, he's he's he forced that over, which is like clearly not needed. He can just throw that flat. Yeah, I think the smoke has kind of come in worse now. It's kind of hazy. It's kind of beautiful. Ooh, I go with a forehand and or a backhand and. Not good. I should have thrown a forehand there. Was that an A4? That was an A4. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Should have Riley's holding a hyzer release here. Let's see if he oh. flips Ooh, something up. Ooh, look at this. That might be the best shot of the bunch. There you go. It is. If I had to guess, he was. You that can was hear a him release, disappointed. But I think he got lucky. He was planning, I think, to release that with more hyzer yeah. and let the disc do the work. Yeah. And he, yeah. Maybe he just didn't trust it quite enough there. So that is a great upshot by me. Is that me. you? Wow. Yeah, great upshot. That's your. Uh, that was a that distortion, I believe. Oh, okay. No, you were probably right. That was a P Model S. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. Proflex. Wow, this is a leg breaking potential straddle. If yeah, he falls. he's tight in there. Good thing he's got those skinny legs. Wow. Yeah, what a shot. Beauty. Getting that online with the basket. Yeah. And staying intact. Big putt here for Miguel. Give her a little run here. And the lighting really is eerie. Mm hmm. Oh, Miguel walks into the shot. Yeah, yeah he's Miguel's definitely... Miguel's not much of a jump putter. He likes, he like kind of give those floaty runs. He yeah. Likes. You can tell he was wanting to put that on the basket. Yeah. Riley, okay, this is the only birdie look for the car. Only right? birdie look, yeah. That's rare on this hole. Usually see a couple. Drop. Oof. Oh, man, he had the height. So Just couldn't pars. keep it on line. There we go. Everybody's a tap in for a par here. Yeah, this basket tucked right up against this wall of aspens, and yeah. you know you don't see them coming to play much though. You don't see a lot of people no, just you carry don't see into people there. Go long usually, no. You'd think it'd be more of a factor, but it's really yeah. just the trees in the middle yeah. and the edges. Yeah. Okay, hole eleven, up and over the top. Spike Kaiser. Yeah. The this beautiful fairway we're seeing flown here. No one in this MPO field is going to be taken, and no. this is the. What is this? The MP60 fairway for sure. Yeah, these are the old boys. This is where they go skip up to. Certainly, someone up. those with less power maybe are taking this, but for most folks, this is a blind hyzer over yeah. the top, trying to land it on this basket, yeah. but really, really hard to know yeah. if you've thrown a good shot from the tee here. Yeah, yeah. That looks good. That looks really good. Yeah. Great shot. shot. Good shot. 
Yep. Oh, yeah. A little roll. Wow. So it'll be nice for Miguel to see that catch cam footage because you always wonder. And this looks really good oh, as well. Ooh, that wind. That wind. Oh, yeah. wind. Oh. oh, and bad roll as well. Yep. Yeah. The catch cam work today from Gary from West Can Disc Golf, I think it is. Mm -hmm. he came through for the, the last two rounds. He was on our catch cam after after we didn't have anyone to do it for the first right, uh, the first day there. Yeah, the last two that rounds. That was a great shot Gary's by been you. on catch cam. Do you feel like you know where this basket is when you're standing on the tee box? Because I don't. Ooh, Ooh Riley catches the right that's stuff. That's the right side, yeah. And that's the stuff that sneaks up on you quick here. you got to push it really flat with a, and just push it out flat right. and let it hyzer. You can't, can't throw the hyzer off the tee box. Hmm. He's at least still in, in the middle of the fairway so we can go up and over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he actually got lucky to kind of kick him right back in the middle of the fairway. Ooh, a lot Long of meat for on the, the bow hill. Sorry. Is part. this up the hill? Yeah. Yeah, okay. He's looking up the slope here. This yeah. is probably 40. Yeah, you can't see how actually mm. elevated this from there is. It's, he's probably like 10 feet below the basket there. Connell, this looks, what, edge of the circle? Yeah. Great. Putt. Wow. His Beautiful stroke is looking stroke. good. Hey, he settled down, I think, a lot from those first couple of yeah. holes. Yeah. yeah, you can't tell here, but the wind is coming through here pretty good right now. Chains are moving a bit. Oh, Whoa. there it is. So is not ready for that. That, that freaking wind just picked her up. That was a, a cling on. Yeah. That that was not good out of the hand. No, the wind grabbed that right away and just yeah. lifted it right over. There you go. Settle it down. Knock it in. You're not gonna lose this tournament at this point with pars. You know. No. We see you there, seven strokes up. The only way you really have anything to worry about here is if the strokes start piling up. Yeah. Nice couple of birdies. Nice to see. Yeah, Riley going to be taking the bow here. When Connell's flew in just like nice and flat, mm -hmm. I was just like, oh, I'll just punch it right into the middle. And you legit saw that out of my hand. I gave it, right. and I punched it, and it was just like, and it lifted right away. Connell's didn't move at all. He just rated the bow. He back. catches on the right side there, but he, his putt, putt is though. flat side to side and front to back. Yeah. It's not a nose up putt or a nose down putt. Yeah. I, you could see it, and he, and he spins it very pure. You could see it yeah. working really well in the wind. Yeah. Okay, hole 12, hole the 12. tweener. The par three and a half. The tweener, the tweener, yeah. This says par three. No one's trying to put this uh, drive on the basket, no. though. No. Everyone, I mean, I shouldn't say no one, but... Too tight, too it's tight. It's not the play. The there. play is to land it here in this grass patch that you see. Yeah. Pitch across and get out of here with a three. Yeah. But OB everywhere. Easier said than done. This, yeah, this upshot is really, really tight. It's all on a mound. The basket's on a mound, and everything rolls away. OB at the back. OB on the sides. Even the tee shot, I find it. I find it's hard to throw it firm. You yeah. know, you because you need to. This is what's easy to do. Is because yeah. you're throwing a layup, so it's easy to just be yeah. a little bit lazy and let yeah. it leak off somewhere. Yeah. yeah. That's the mistake I make the most. I feel like is what yeah, Miguel yeah. just did right there. Yeah, let it hyzer out too much. And sure. he's not gonna have a play at the at the three. I don't think so. I don't think so. Not from there. No. Connell. Get through. If that gets through, it should be okay. You can sneak so through the wrong side of that tree and still have a look. Yep. Yeah. yeah, you got the hyzer in. We'll see. That might be short though of of having anything. What so is this I, from you? Throwing a distortion here, but I don't. No. Oh, right. there must have been a touch of headwind, I think. Okay. So that's kind of going over to Mag where Miguel was. I there. think you're going to have a look from there, though. Yeah, I think yeah, so. It's... I think I got lucky and kind of stayed on the edge. Yeah. You're going to have to bring it into the green with a lot of hyzer, though, yeah. which is going to take away your ability to control the Fair way it sure. lands. Yeah. So you're going to bring roll away into the picture. Yeah. Let's see what Riley does. Ooh, see, and there's that headwind. Like, he pulled yeah, that a bit, in. too, but the headwind kind of held it up and pushed it He lands it in the farther. fairway. But great kick. Great kick to the middle. This, now this I is think a he's just laying this shot. up, though. Is he? Yeah. Wow, that's a, yeah. that's a smart decision. I don't I think know it how is many too. people could resist yeah. the temptation because yeah. he had the angle for sure. Yeah. But tight, though. Really, really tight from there. Yeah. Kind of uphill run up too, so I think Connell, it was a smart play too. Connell just, laying this up, he know he's he was going for it, but okay, it was an unintentional layup. That yeah. might have been a good thing. I think so too. I think so. It would have been better if he had kicked away from this tree, though. Yeah, yeah, but he still got he can salvage a par here or 
a four. Yeah, yeah that's right. Great shot. Sit. Ooh. So is this what could happen? Okay. Yeah, Looks like stopped. he held on. Yeah. Checked out. Yes. Green yeah, flag. So Ben was talking about it. I just got to spike something in here. Yeah, so on. You're getting a green wow, flag. I got really lucky. I so I thought I threw that perfect out of my hand. Yeah. And that headwind just held it because it so it's on the on top spike, of the disc. It just held it there and then it just dropped. And I thought it right. was OB. So it's but not it's, letting it, it swing. There. This is a really tough shot for Miguel here. So is this, this is his drive? Yeah, that was his drive. So he had to th like really force something over because it mm -hmm. was too tight. And this is the thing on this hole. If you get far enough over to that side, you can have the forehand around the, those yeah. trees. Yeah. But it is way tighter than the back end line. The pitch over from Riley hey. Ooh, for the... Miguel running it. Oh, my goodness. For what will be the four for Riley, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that... This is for four. Yeah. Yeah, good putt. Wow, he was farther yeah. away than I thought. So that's that's a good four, right? Two layups? Yeah, a disciplined four. It yeah. easily could have been a bigger number yeah. if you'd gotten greedy. Yeah. Connell for the four here. Connell, his stroke has been looking very clean these last several holes. He's putting towards the camera. Could be a distraction. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Jim. Ooh. See, and you could see that. It kind of came out a little weak. Every one of his, every one of his previous putts yeah. have been very, very straight and authoritative. That yeah. one was a little weak. He's on his toes a little bit there. You know, when you're, he's standing on that slope, it can be hard to get get it forward and up from the slope he's a sad boy back there in the mm -hmm. background are you are you thinking about him at I all here while you're putting about it no i should have thought about it more i think Oof. <laughs> <laughs> not happy with that one didn't you didn't, went ahead and marked your, i didn't take the courses your early there. there you see that you throw in the mini i know yeah card mate's not giving you the marking violation there <laughs> well at least Bunch i, of nice I guys. remarked it at least so yeah right. okay <laughs> All right, there's the nice good putt, putt from Riley. Yeah, the one good putt on that card. Yeah, he worked, sure. you guys. He did. He did. He yeah, has a good putt. Good put. You don't see a lot of missed putts in the screen. The green's small enough that usually yeah, you, you get you get the you get yeah. the meter in, and you usually got the pretty good. Okay, checking back into the leaderboard. After Still no drama at 12. the top, but it's getting even tighter for the second place. So yeah. Miguel at six. Brendan under overall Again, four down Brendan Elford do you know where he's from I, I don't even know where he's from but uh yeah he's now one stroke out of second 14 holes in so he's running out of holes yeah Chad Hemsley though fellow prodigy sponsored player down from up from the states oh, and Missoula right. yeah right Montana guy yeah playing solid for four down yeah, so some of those guys, you know, they're running out of holes to birdie, but also could be said running out of holes to bogey. So. Yeah, yeah. Hole 13, par the 5, change. The change has made this hole better, I believe. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you want to kind of follow where the drone goes, power forehand, power backhand, get over that knoll, down to the hill, lay up to the mouth of this OB, and then kind of chip something up for the par, or you can go for it for the eagle. Yeah, I've we've both eagled this in the past. I remember. So there's the power forehand. Oh, we have, we have both powered. I just threw that way too high. You have to be in and it hides perfect it position to yeah. justify it with yourself yeah. going going for this yeah. green after two. But yeah, Riley going with a fairway driver here. I like that. Kick out. There you go. Okay, Riley's getting some. That's some still going to be in birdie there, in yeah. birdie position, because yeah. he can easily get down to the to the lower section of this yep. fairway oh, from there. Okay. Oof, I remember this one. Yeah, that was Miguel. super early for Miguel. That tree is going to feel And Connell that. has been playing this hole very simple, just throwing the easy layup shot to the top and then chipping down and taking his four. You see the spectators yeah, peeking out around the corner. Great shot yeah. from Miguel there. Wow. Ooh, and it still leaks. It leaks still enough. leaks over, though, to the right. This fairway so tight, people kind of have to poke their heads out and risk yeah. Risk taking one in the teeth. Well, and to, I've, to I've get seen, a view I've seen it. people being really close to getting hit on this hole for sure. But this is a fair way you want to watch a disc oh. fly down. Oof. Yeah. The one tree yep. that is in this <laughs> fairway. One tree to miss. And it said, You shall not pass. Do we see it again? What no. a great shot oh. by. Oh, and 
Connell got knocked down. Did he well. get hung up there on yeah. the on yeah, the on the left side? Oh, okay. Riley going for it. Is he? Nope. Oh. So same thing. A little early again. Okay. It looked like he was throwing that to go for it. I think he was too. The yeah. course Miguel laid the course laid him up. The course laid him up. Yes. So I'm in a tight spot here. Just not a good Okay. Effort. You're on the front side at least. Miguel there, he's in the perfect spot. He'll yeah. have a jump putt up and yeah. down for yeah. his. So what was I thinking here? I think I'm laying this up so, as well. Yeah, this is your third. No, you're going for it. Am I? That looks well thrown. Oh, oh wow. my goodness. Okay, so well, that's OB. OB at the back, but tap in from Same there. result as laying it up, honestly, yeah. right? Yeah. That, as long as you cross over this green, you, you're, you're going to be okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll take the par here for sure. This is a common bunk bunker here where Connell And is. don't roll. There wow. it is. Sit, There's sit, that sit, roll sit, on that sit, hillside. Sit. That We saw this from Connell in round one in. too, right? Uh, the more overstable disc. Yeah. And yeah, the, you got to have something flat. Right? Uh, from the angle where he's at there, I don't know that you can throw it differently than that. It's true. But, he, well, but you're going to see it roll out most of the time, I feel so like. So this is a better shot, though, I think, because it's not going to have a chance to roll out. Yeah, it's out of speed comes. when yeah. it hits the ground. Yeah. Miguel going for this. Yeah. Good up. Okay. That's a nice spot where Miguel landed to get to there. Mm -hmm. Okay, Connell looking to make this after the OB stroke. Save the par. Yeah. Oof. Mm. Dances it off the rim. You got one foot inside an anthill. Yeah. Feed it go. down the slope. Save the par. Pars are good for you at this point. Yep. Yep. You know, you might be wanting birdies for rating points, but if you if wins are what you're into, pars Connell, are gonna get it done Connell for you. Taps at this point. in for six footer. Okay, for a six, yeah, that was his bogey. That's right. So you need to make. Okay, that this is our whole fourteen preview here. Um, another what par three and a half? Par three and a half. Yep. Yeah. 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 This is one you, you could go for it with the forehand. I've seen you do that in, in the past. Power forehand. With yeah. The power yeah. Flex, yeah. Forehand. flex forehand. Some yeah. guys even throw that big forehand over the top. Yeah, yeah. Um, but really, I think a hyzer that lands right about here, right in here. And yeah. I think you'd favor the left edge of this fairway over the right edge. For sure. Say. Yeah. 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 And same for the rough. If you're going to find rough, I think you'd rather left find edge the left rough than yeah. the right. Yeah. 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 But anything that allows you just to get some distance over these aspens mm -hmm. and then pitch one up and get out of here with a three, I think is the way to play this game. So there's a story on this hole, and we will tell you it when we get up to it. Oh, okay. The suspense. Yeah, it's the suspense. So, so you something find that happens left right there. Right there? <laughs> right there. Did your disc go into the upside down? <laughs> it, <laughs> it did for me. This is a good looking that shot. That looks good. So that's tracking. He crushed that, right? That's a good shot. And that is pretty much just a little jumper to the basket from there. Wow. Yeah. And that's a tough shot. He made it look easy. Miguel, this is a wide rim driver. Going over top. And that looks but that's good with. That's a conservative width. shot. He's going yes. up and over, but he's not going. Yeah. Forward. Good width though, right in the middle of the fairway. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. That's really well placed. Yeah. Connell going the straight, straight gap. He's yeah more Whoa. direct with the flex. That's yeah. going to find the rough. And that's going to find. Though. That'll be over by Riley there. Way down there. Way down there. Well, he's nearly pin high, and that falls down before it goes farther than their left. So hopefully we get it on coverage here, but I got bit by a boat. Eight or to ten wasps. Oh, you got stung? Yeah. See, here it is oh, right here. Oh, my. So there's a massive wasp nest here. Uh, yeah. Just massive. They don't like and hyzers. Look at them. Wow. All. So Miguel's, Miguel's caddy actually <laughs> walks in there after I throw. So they gave me casual relief here. Okay. And I played it back. And I was just like so out of sorts. My leg is just burning. And Miguel was thinking, this is just what I need at this moment. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, so my leg's just burning here. I'm not thinking about disc golf much at this point. A lot of people got stung this week. I and then remember. I just absolute shank into the trees. Wow. And then I'll give, give a shout out to Miguel's caddy. He ran in and grabbed my disc for me and got even bit a couple times. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so thank him. Miguel I gives thank that a bid for, for the two. Yeah, yeah. 
Riley, everyone's probably a little scared of the wasps at this point. I would have Everybody to is pretty far away if from, you're within from where 50 the nest feet was. of where those were swarming. I wouldn't feel great about it. They didn't. They didn't really come out of out of that one area. This though. is about as good of a look as you're ever going to see. That's a really really good drive from there. Yeah. He doesn't get the height on it. Yeah. I don't know if he's upset about it or not, but yeah. So at this point, I'm just thinking, just get up and down for. Oof. Yeah. I. At, in mine. my head, I really wasn't trying to make that. I was just like, get up and down, because I was kind of yeah. done after all those wasp stings. You had it online, but it did not have the pace. No, no. Miguel gets the three. I think that's good. Yeah, you can see Miguel's caddy back there. He's yeah. a tough guy. He got my disc yeah, out of the top the of a spruce tree that's last right. year. Yeah, like 40 feet up. <laughs> He's a real one. Yeah, yeah. Cleaning up for the pars. Those are good pars. Those are, I'd say, half birdies, the yeah. pars on this hole. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, also shout out to Christy Lee for bringing me ice for my leg. Okay. Hole, hole 15. 15. Par 3, 299. OB within, you know, what, two meters of the basket yeah, here? Yeah, eight, eight feet. Yeah. So ace runs, you know, can, can find the OB, but at this point, no drop zone. They used to, everything that was OB went to the drop zone, so discourage those ace runs, but now, go for it. Yeah, 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 just give her give her a chance. And in bad weather, this hole much harder than in good weather, I would say. Yeah, not much wind to deal with today, for sure. But still, the, the branches higher up yeah. on the spruce trees reach out and really crowd the, the middle of your flight, the beginning and middle so of the flight. So this shot from Riley was money. Just let her yeah, skip up, that's nice what you wanna do. Wow. Just perfect. Keep it low, like Ben said, below the branches. Yeah, especially now that they've cleaned up all the branches. They did a ton of work. Yeah, so much You can much see how all the branches course. have gone up on those trees. Those, yeah. those branches used to go right to the ground. Yeah. Connell, Stay that down. could leak, leak OB. Yeah. It could bounce. The rough is so no. thick that it, it can be not. hard to get into it. Yeah. But they they did clear out all those trees, right? So it's easier to go OB on this hole now right. if you do. Kind you of have let more room if you throw a low shot, but then it's easier to get yeah. out of bounds. And that's why I throw a forehand here, so I don't go OB. Right. I just let it hyzer out. Hopefully I have a putt at the basket. You're not far away at all there. but No, there but is... very scary putt yeah. through that tree and then OB right behind it. Yeah. Miguel pitching up. It's well done. It's easy to butcher that approach shot even. Yep, yep. Let's see if Riley can pick up the birdie here. This is a putt that can go out of bounds. Yeah, yeah. Anything off the cage, man, on the left side. Oh, right like that. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. So Connell the, so gets he's the two out of meters. Bounds, so he's taking it directionally here. Yeah. Smart kid. Shortening up the putt. Yeah. Let's see if he can capitalize. This will be for a par, right? Yeah. 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 Good putt. Well done. So, yeah, Connell, if you've seen him, every single putt that he's had, regular stance, super, super in the heart every time. Right, online. Lots of pace. But a couple of his straddles just been a little leaky. It is harder, I think, to keep the straddles Definitely. Yeah. In so I had a little pole. window here. Oh. And oh, tried to give my. her a go, and it bounced off the off a freaking <laughs> branch over the basket and hit the backside of it. Stayed in bounds, though. Stayed so. in bounds. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll take the par there. And like Ben said, all I need is pars to kind of walk this in. Yeah, the other boys probably looking for birdies here at this point because yeah. they are in a fight. Everybody is tight a on the whole. dog fight. Noah Park. Higgins, a minus six. That time. Miguel now tied. Miguel had a substantial lead. He did. Yeah. Yeah, Noah's just seven. crushing it though, neg five. Chad, Chad neg the four. Montanian. Yeah. Creeping up the board there. He's in the, he's finished at minus four, so. Brandon Alford. The Sherwood Park boy has dropped off the pace a bit, but he is still there. Tied for six. Okay, Jay Sparrows. Connell. Under. Yeah, a few, a few guys with still some holes to play here. Let's see if Riley can get another bird here. Yeah, hole 16, the par four now. The defined mm. tunnel, intimidating yeah. tunnel, I would Very say. Very intimidating, yeah. I think if you like throwing tunnel shots, you're excited to throw this one yes yeah um and if you don't you know a lot of these guys from edmonton aren't getting a lot of experience throwing tunnels no, it's very true but that new course has some tunnel shots up in edmonton there. 
Miguel, he gets decent distance there. He's on the left edge. Easier, I think, to get up and down for the birdie from that left Connell edge. Connell going for the forehand. Little early. This right what side. a kick, though. Wow. Right in the middle. Yeah, if you go in on that right side, you're not getting yeah. to the green from Yeah, there. so at this point, my leg is, like, so swollen. It was, it was tough Let's to Let's get throw. a look at it. And then I just pipe it. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Watch out, catch cam. <laughs> Turning the cameraman, always yeah. a good thing. That's what you want to do. You're going to have a look from there. I will. 60 feet? Yeah, you gonna go for I it? bet you that's longer than that. Give us a show, Casey. Give us a show. I know, I know. So Too Riley boring. back here at the at the short tee pad. But, you know, he's, he's got a swing, and if you've got a swing, you got a chance, right? Yep. Ooh, pulled it. Into the boneyard. Two turns, maybe a little worried about his follow-through. Yeah, definitely. Connell. Connell's good at these. Lucky to have bending. a swing. See if he can make the course pay for his good fortune. And that is a tough putt from there. That'll be scary. He's yeah. putting down at the. You can see the boneyard here. Yeah. Ob at the back. Miguel's gonna have a look from there. Yeah. See, that's the thing where Miguel leaked off. If you can get most of the way down the fairway and then leak into the left side, yeah. you can still get the birdie. Yeah. Riley has to Oof. go kind of. Tomahawk, Tomahawk over the top oh, here. Oh, what a oh, shot. Yeah. What, what a yeah. shot. Beautiful. Uh, you can hell wow. everybody on the car just congratulating him for that one. That was money. Well done controlling the speed there, too, to not let it slide out yeah. the back. For the eagle. Not even close. I guess you'll have to settle <laughs> for a birdie. <laughs> I will take it after the It's a weird sings. feeling on this hole when you, get, when you do get a good drive yeah. and then you miss a putt. Yeah, yeah. Connell, so that's going to be a four. Yep. Feels like a bogey. It's, you know, it shows up like a par on the scorecard, yeah. but it certainly doesn't feel like Miguel it. Miguel for the three. This would be a good birdie. Yeah, just mm. a bit low. And he needs that one too, right? At yeah. that point, he's tied with, yeah, with Noah. Noah for second. Yeah. Oh, and that is another splash out. Little wow. low, but off the tray. I, I still think that should have stuck. I remember that in the in the round. I think the, the front of his putter made it over the nubs, and the back and then it gets hooked it by the nub and yeah. Yeah. the old nubbins. Yeah. Connell again marking people's discs. Just too <laughs> nice of a guy. So wow. lone birdie on that hole. A couple bogues, a couple uh, one par. Hole seventeen, big spike Kaiser. Watch follow how the, follow far the drone. left this goes. Right? Very, very far left. Uh, OB road there all the way along. Very tight when you get up to the basket. Those Aspens are pretty much a natural OB on the back edge. And you need way more power than 391, I feel like. You need to throw it super high. Yeah, with how far left it needs to yeah. go, it's hard to get it that far yeah. and that left. Yeah. It's easy to do one or the other. Yeah. But getting and it that far left and that far... Usually you have a helping wind here from right to left, but right now it's just dead calm and you just want, look at just your scorecard there. It shows the, all the all power. the birdies at the beginning and then you just kind of cruise control towards yeah. the end there. Yeah, not really good. And then pushed. I got the got the bee sting. This looks 12. good. You got a green. That man. is good. And that is good. Uh, not the best roll at the end there, no, but no. yeah, I mean anything honestly that if you, I think of a twenty five foot putt, a thirty foot putt here is is. It's Excellent. Solid. Having a, even a 30 foot putt is is fine. Yeah. Yeah. The Catch cow? cam. Yeah, that's that'll work. Okay. Right so at his feet. He's gonna be along the edge of the tree. That's a tough bird. Sometimes tough you bird pinched off there. When yeah, you're you on the edge of the tree there. Off, yeah. Let's see if Connell got the power here. Like the height. I like. This. Might be a little inside though. Should be in the middle. It's gonna dig yeah, though. Great shot. Okay, so he's going to have that 40-footer yep. straight at the basket, yep. wide open. The yep. way he's been putting, I, I think I like his chances. Mm -hmm. And that is inside. That could be good, though. So that's wow, thing. he got really lucky. Get yeah. through. Wow. Yeah. I think that's the thing, though, with this hole, is because of how left you need to get it, you want to cut it really yeah, tight. Yeah, you want to be on that edge, edge for sure. Miguel disappointed. That looked like a perfect layup, but obviously that's not what he was trying to do. No, no. Okay, let's see it. Connell. From the straddle. Oh, and gave it a bit. Wow. That horrible roll, though, off the... And it did not stop. That disc rolled like another five, six feet into the bush. Mm. 
Yeah. Oh. oh, just off the left side. Good bid though. Common oh. result, I think, on this hole. Yeah. You know, to get yourself a look. Look then... at that band just like leaning. Just leaning in there <laughs> on the basket. Give it. Oh. Mm. A lot of hitting baskets and not yeah. a lot of hitting putts. A couple good bids though. Let's see if Connell can clean his par up here. And this course really is beautiful. Mm -hmm. No, the, the way old rude the light did a comes good job. through the aspens in the fall. And at this point, too, as we watch Connell try to get his par, great, putt. wow, beautiful great, great par, but rated OB could be said. I think it was the night before that we met with Rudy's family and uh, and heard from them. They gave us an update on his health that it yeah. was not good and that yeah, this was uh, it was tough. Yeah. Heavy but, hearts. But we are still running around. this tournament every year for the foreseeable future for for Rudy. Yeah, I, I do enjoy the vibe here as the tournament comes to a close. You see the gallery maybe starting to build a little bit. More people yeah. finish with their rounds. Yeah, very good vibe. And it'll probably be more of a crowd on this fairway here as you're, for your yeah, last hole for than last you see hole. in this drum flight. Yeah, so hole 18, par 3. 292 probably plays like 260 down the hill uh if you're throwing the straight shot you want to hit this gap uh you'll see and you'll me, crash a forehand here and you'll see me throw a forehand over okay. the top i believe so we'll probably see three straight shots and then one uh you oh, i'm throwing a thumber actually okay. we're switching it up <laughs> let's see if it works out here okay and you cannot see anything. Good luck to the catch. And there it is. Well, I'm glad I didn't hit anybody. Well that, done so from good. catch cam there. I have to say, I would have been ducking out and moving. Yeah. If I was on catch cam after that throw. Miguel, the straight shot. And Looks a little good. pulled. Miss no, everything. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Great wow. shot. Wow. And a nice backstop too. Yeah. Great backstop. Okay, so. For Miguel, that's going to be a birdie. I think he's got to make that. Yeah. To see. see what Noah did. Connell, get through. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Great shot. That's a putt. Do you see the warped tray on the basket there, though? Yeah. He's putting on not the good side of that basket. Yeah. It got beat up by a tree once upon a time. Riley, nice turnover. Get through there. Mm. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Sneaky. The height is Absolutely great. Absolutely parked. And that is for Riley's first birdie. Last is hole. It? Wow. First birdie. Going to the knee. Yeah. Trying to convert the thumber. Not even yeah. close. Maybe the knee's not feeling great. No, I definitely was a little pumped on my adrenaline at this point. Connell, let's see if this basket can make a catch. Solid. Nice. Good putting Very around nice. from Connell. That gets him to four under. Yeah. I'm, I'm really curious to see how that's going to shape up. Mm -hmm. And just going to tap this one out for the win. Good weekend for you. Solid golf. Sandbagger. <laughs> you always got to chuck that out, right? Yeah. It has to be said. Miguel. Miguel. For the bird. I wonder if he if this is for second and if he knows if it is. Yeah, we'll see. We'll it. see That's on the leader. Putt. He had some static to go through there. That was not. No. Nope. Yeah. And, and just an absolute up. tap in. So nice. good hole. Ladies and gentlemen, let's All give birds. it up for our 2022 Falcon Flight Championship. And you get announced as the champion. There you go. The trophy with the Falcon that has a glued on human foot. <laughs> It's that, a, um, I think that's a Chad Gamlin foot, It's definitely foot not going to be as good as Beach as Ben's last year. <laughs> hey. So all I want to say is thank you that's to Rudy I don't win as much as you. and everybody who puts work into this course. Um, everybody can see it gets a little better every year. So hopefully, like they said, the family is going to keep running this tournament and we can all keep coming back. Sweet. Um, I'd like to thank my competitors. Really good battle this weekend. And 
I have to dip out right away, so I won't be here for the ceremony. Going to Canadian We're Nationals. Back. I'm going to Nationals tonight, so. Look at the foot on that bird. <laughs> it's always emotional, I feel like, on the green here at 18, yeah. regardless of who it is. Well, you're always thinking of Rudy, right? He yeah. did a lot for disc golf. It's good. It's good stuff. Okay, we see how it finished up. So Miguel and Noah end up in a tie. Tied up. So that was a big putt. That Last was, putt a, was big a good putt. putt. Yeah. yeah, six under six on the under, round, solid round from Noah. So he makes his charge. Too late to be battling for the win, but uh, manages to claim second. Yeah. Great finish from Chad. Chad, good coming good up. Finish, yeah, for I sure. would imagine this is first his first time playing this tournament. So good for him. Yeah, for, I can't uh, remember if he came. I think he came up the year before when you won. Okay. Okay, so yeah. a, a three-way tie for fourth there. Chad, Thomas Kuhn, yeah. Connell McLeod. Connell, yeah. Ton Connell with the bird to tie for fourth there as well. At the yeah. last, last putt. So some important birdies there at the yeah. end. Yeah. Rest Liam, of our top ten there, yeah. Liam. Brennan. Brennan kind of fell off at the end there. I think he was at neg four or neg five at one point. Still a very nice finish. Yeah. Yeah. Jay Sparrows and Mike Heckbert round out our top ten. Yeah. Thanks very much for watching. If you'd like to sponsor coverage at the Park Pro, get in touch. We can put your logo here. Like, share, subscribe. And if you Patreon. enjoyed the Chunky Buckets. Chunky Buckets. If you enjoy the Chunky Buckets, let them know. Give make, us some make comments. Make that noise. Give us some likes. We, Give uh, us some love. We like being in the studio here in the Park Pro, the beautiful Park Pro Studios. Yeah, Invermere, BC. Okay, we'll catch you uh, the next time. Chunky Peace. Buckets out. Mm -hmm.